Hey how's it going everyone, so in this video I'll be going over my Overwatch 2 settings. It's been about 3 years since it last did a settings video, as it's about due time to make one, but we'll just go straight into the options here. So the settings menu looks very different from Overwatch 1, so we're gonna have to try and like navigate through it. But we'll start here with video and video, so I'm playing full screen, best match, 1440p, 240hz, that is what my monitor is using. You should probably know what monitor you're using as well if you have like 144hz and 1080p, which would look something like like this instead that's like the general thing people use but i play on max field of view and then we have dynamic render scale off so pretty much what it does is normally it's at 100 which is your max resolution but it sometimes takes it down to around 75 percent to reduce the impact it has on your computer but i am getting a stable fps i'm not gonna have it on that's why my render scale is custom and set to 100 which is my resolution so for my frame rate i have it on 263 the reason why i have it on 263 is if you have like the um the details here the display performance sets if you have that on and you see your FPS, if it's going from let's say 259 to 260 because it's like hovering like one FPS back and forth, it's gonna move this FPS bar back and forth and just make it all jittery. So I have it on 263 which makes it go from 262 to 263 which is all the same font size. Then we have V-Sync, triple buffering and reduced buffering all off and Nvidia Reflex I have it on enable, boost or enable. I honestly don't feel any difference, I'm just gonna put it on boost but you might not have that option unless you have a newer graphics card. So all of this is just the uh, default 220, 1.1 1, 1 and off. Let's go to graphics quality here. So I have the preset on low and everything you just turn off or on low except the texture quality which is on medium. So if I just go here and take it on medium it's going to look like this but I have it on low and then just put the texture quality on medium. Very simple. Alright, and details. This is just what's showing up here in my left corner. All I have on is the show frame rate and show network latency which is my ping. That's all I have on, everything else is off. Let's go into sound here. So I have it on 70%, 70%, 27% for music, because I don't like the music. And in-game voice volume is 90%, which is the what the characters are talking in-game, like when they're saying hello and stuff like that. Uh, I have the audio mix on headphones, because I'm using headphones. System settings and default for playback and spatial audio. And I don't know if this is default, because in the beta I had to turn this off. But play sound when enemy is eliminated, and play sound when teammate is eliminated, I have it on off. Because else it's going to make like this annoying sound every time someone dies. But I guess voice chat, I have the voice chat volume, like 67, sometimes 70, sometimes 60, depends how loud my teammates are. And my mic volume is at 75%. Don't go over 75%, because that's going to make your microphone super like yeah, muffled. And yeah, this is just the default stuff, I think. Alright, now we're gonna get into the bit more interesting stuff here in controls. So my sensitivity is 3.5, 800 dpi. But I have it a bit different depending on what hero I'm playing, so I'll get into that in a minute. But first let's go over my reticle here. So I have it on the crosshairs, and then we have show accuracy on off. Color, I always like to have it green. I've tried all different colors, but green is the one I see the best. So that's what I'm gonna go for. Uh, dot opacity and dot size is on zero. Doesn't really matter because the opacity is on zero here. And uh, thickness is on 1, opacity and outline opacity is on 100%. And the crosshair length and gap might look a bit different for you because I'm using a 1440p monitor. This is how it might look for you. But in general, all I want to have is just a normal cross with a small gap inside of it. It doesn't really matter if it's like this, as long as. Okay, maybe that's too big, but it doesn't matter if it's like this, as long as it's a cross with a small gap inside of it. And then uh, hero settings default default and the only thing i've changed in my key bindings is quick melee is my mouse five button which is the side button of my mouse and in the communication my push to talk is my other mouse button which is on the side all right so let's go into my individual hero settings so would it make i have 4.1 sensitivity throughout the two scope sense and the scope sense is personal preference so if you're someone who likes to have like a bit higher uh, scope sensitivity that is completely normal i know people that has 30 i know people that has 38 it's all personal preference but what i know is around 38 is one to one when she's not scoped in but for me i felt like that is a bit too far so i'm just gonna stick to 32 percent then for grappling hook sensitivity have it below 50 percent because if you have it above 50 percent you might accidentally hook onto something else when you're trying to like hook up on a ledge so as long as it's below 50 percent that's fine and then recoil aim compensation i have it on on now for Genji, I have it on 7 sensitivity, uh, Tracer I have on 6 sensitivity, 
Ash scope sense is on 43 with 3.5 sensitivity. And I think that is pretty much it. Everything else, all of my other characters is free. Oh yeah, Hanzo I have on 4.1 as well. And remember, if you play like Genji or Hanzo, have automatic climb walls on. But yeah, to make it simple, every hero is on 3.5 except Widowmaker and Hanzo. But let's go into the gameplay here. So I'm not sure what any of these are. I have it all on default. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. So I have enable high precision mouse put on on. HUD have it all on default except the in world. So the waypoint opacity and respawn icon opacity I have on 22%. Uh, you don't want it to have it too high because then you can't really see the enemies because the waypoint is going to be in the way from the enemies. And I think everything else here is on default. Then for social here, I uh, just have it on default. I think, yeah and accessibility so camera shake is the thing you see when you're like jumping off a ledge or something and your character is hitting the ground it's gonna shake the screen a bit you can have it either on default or you can have it on reduced so i have it on reduced then we have the hud shake which is the same thing instead of the camera shaking it's the hud so like your health bound stuff i have it on on because i do think it looks a bit better than having it just very static and then you can have reduced menu movement which you have on on color blindness is just default and text to speech i have not used Alright, so I'm just doing a bit of a voiceover here when I'm recording on my phone. But I know a lot of people have wondered what kind of mouse I'm using, my mousepad and keyboard and microphone and stuff like that. So the mouse I'm using is the Glorious Model O Minus. And it's quite alright, it has a very good size because as you can see I have very small hands. But it's battery life is actually horrible. That like That's the biggest downside to it. It lasts like one or two days and then the battery just dies. But overall the shape and size is very good for me. And as you can see I'm also using a palm grid. So the keyboard I'm using is the Royal Clutch RK68 and I have custom keycaps, I have some aftermarket switches and it's just pretty much a custom keyboard so it's not really a gaming keyboard but it sounds and feels very good. So the mousepad I'm using is the Endgame Gear MPC890 Cordura. It's a very very fast mousepad that doesn't lose speed over time so it's always very consistent but it still has very decent stopping power as well and it has this kind of jeans like material. I've tried like 50 different mousepads but this is one I pretty much always go back to. And it's very cheap as well, I think it's only like 40 bucks for the 890 version. And lastly, for the microphone I'm using the Shure SM7B, which is like the most overused streamer microphone. It's very expensive, don't buy this, it's not worth the money. I bought it because everyone's pretty much using it, but it's very overpriced to be honest for what we're using it for, just streaming and recording videos. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, so if you guys want to have my updated sensitivity, don't forget to follow my Twitch and you can just type explanation mark sense and then you'll be able to get my updated sensitivity whenever I change it because I do change my sensitivity quite often. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe. This is my second channel and hit the like button if you think this helped you out in any kind of way and I'll see you guys in my next video. Fighting.